Come on, let's put your shoes on. Let's put your shoes on. <laughs> Look at these things. Oh, so long, I've been stuck in my ways. Somehow I know. What's up, Diesel? What's up, Bubba? What's up? How's it going, guys? And welcome to this video. So today is December 3rd. It is Sunday, and that means I've been here in New York at Guide Dog School for two whole weeks, and I have one more week to go. So next Sunday, December 10th, I will be flying back home to Charlotte, and we will be going back home with old Diesel. So I am going to be basically walking you guys through the experience so far of the first two weeks of guide dog school really how the schedule works what we have to do every day and really what I have learned up until this point what I've done with the dog and things like that so so far I've been here for two weeks I've had diesel for almost two weeks we got him the Wednesday of the first week but we have been working with the dogs every single day except for on Sundays so last Sunday I had a day off that is when I went to Club Fit and hit legs, and today is Sunday, and I also went to Club Fit and hit legs again this Sunday. So on Sundays, we did have kind of a rest day to catch up on rest, but even on Sundays, we still have our duties. We still have to wake up at the break of dawn, take the dogs out, feed them, and do all of that good stuff as well. And we also still had lecture, where we are lectured on things that we need to learn uh, when we're going back home, you know, things that we need to know about what to do when people approaches us, how to introduce them to other dogs, all kinds of stuff like that. That is what lectures are, and that usually happens around uh, 4.30 every evening, even on our days off. But every other day other than Sunday, we are working with the dogs. So basically, here is the basic rundown of what our schedule is like every day here at Guide Dog School. So we wake up, I wake up around 5.30 to 5.45. I get up, I get all of this ready and good to go. Oh yeah. So I get all this ready, good to go, and once I'm ready, I take Diesel out, and we call it parking, we park the dogs, so I take Diesel out for him to do his business, for him to urinate and poop, drop some turds. So I take him outside at six, I bring him back in, I feed him some yum yum dog food that he loves all so much. It is, I believe, lamb and rice flavored. Ooh, scrum doodly umptious. So I feed him his dog food at six in the morning and then give him some water and I take him back out for another opportunity to relieve himself. And then at 6, uh, 6 30, 6.45ish, we walk down to this big room and we do obedience training. Obedience training is basically working on, you know, obedience with the dog. So we have them hooked up to the leash. We work on sit, we work on, you know, laying down, them staying there, them healing by our side. And while we are doing obedience training every day, we usually have a distraction. A distraction can be, um, usually it is one of the instructors or the trainer's dogs. And these dogs are, either on the leash and they're just walking around really close to our dogs as we are uh, giving them commands or they are off leash chasing treats and really just trying to tempt our dogs to you know break command and not be obedient to us but diesel has been pretty much perfect I mean a few times one of the German Shepherd uh, distraction dogs came up and brushed into us and like it's so funny but diesel he's literally locked on to me he's done so perfect so at 645 that is obedience training at 7 slash 7.15 in the morning, we go upstairs and we have breakfast. And guys, uh, the food staff, the kitchen here is so amazing. So 7 to 7.15, we go eat breakfast. At 8 o'clock, we load up in the vans with the dogs. So we have about five people in each van and five little doggies. And then we also have a driver, of course. But um, we load up in these vans and we head about 30 to 45 minutes away. And we go to a, plane, uh, a place called White Plains, New York. And in White Plains, it is more or less like a small city. And what we do there, we post up at this uh, lounge, is what they call it. It's the building that they have there. We uh, all post up in this lounge, and then we go out on routes. So in the morning, between 9-ish to uh, 12, between there, we all go out on about a 45-minute to an hour route. And that is working the dogs. They are in harness. We're crossing intersections. We're crossing lights. We're dealing with pigeons and birds and... Uh, loud sirens, all kinds of sorts, or, you know, all sorts of things that you can think of that will distract the dogs. We are dealing with, and that is what we do in the morning. We do a route, we come back, and um, we do have a little bit of downtime in between routes. But we uh, we come back and then we eat lunch there at the lounge. The kitchen staff brings over food. 
Uh, and it's so good. So they bring over food, that's at 12 o'clock, we eat lunch, and then after lunch, we go out on another route. And these routes, you know, it, it depends. We'll go to Walmart, we'll walk through Walmart, we'll go to a mall. There's all kinds of little things, um, all, all different types of places in White Plains that we can go to. Uh, the other day I went to Macy's and worked on getting on an elevator with him and getting off elevator or escalators, getting on and off escalators with him. So we do that and then that, that lasts from you know lunch until about three in the afternoon. Three in the afternoon we get back on the vans and we head back to Yorktown Heights, New York, which is where I am at right now. We are on campus and we get back here usually about 4 p.m. 4 p.m it is time to feed him that scrum dilly lamb and rice. So I feed him the lamb and rice and um, water. I feed him, lamb and, uh, feed him his food, we water, and then we take him outside to park and give him another opportunity to relieve himself. And we also, while we are at the lounge, we also give them another opportunity. We give them water. After they do their morning route, when they get back from the morning route, we give them water and also another opportunity to relieve themselves. Because they do not, you know, we don't want them to go to the bathroom while they are working. While they are in harness, we don't want them to really go to the bathroom. So that is the whole point of doing that. And after we get back here at four o'clock, we feed them, we take them out and all that good stuff. We go to lecture at 4.30. Lecture lasts until five. And like I said, lecture is basically teaching us as the dog owners what to do and what we need to do um, as dog owners and you know what, what, what all the things that we no, need to know owning a guide dog and working with a guide dog and then lecture ends at a, usually around 5 to 5 15 we head upstairs we eat dinner and then we are pretty much done around six o'clock and then for me personally what I do right after dinner I come down here to the room I get my pre-workout mixed up I go down to the basement and I work out I'll get in a workout usually you know like I had the back workout um, using only dumbbells and resistance bands because that is basically all that I have here and then once I am done doing that uh, you know some point after that at 730 we have to water give them more water and take them back out so 730 we give them more water take them back outside another opportunity for them to relieve themselves and then after 7.30, I usually take him into that big room <laughs> and let him play. We play with all kinds of toys, take him off the leash, and he goes nuts. Oh, he goes nuts. And yep, so that's what we do at, you know, sometime between 7.30 and bedtime, we, I, I take him in there, we play, and I also groom him, and I take him in the groom room, and I, you know, brush him and try to get all that unwanted fur off of him so he stays nice and fresh. So that is pretty much the schedule. Once all that is done, it's usually around eight to nine o'clock and I come in here and I, I have to take him back outside for a, the last opportunity for him to relieve himself at about nine to 9.30. And once that is completed, it's done for the day. Now, you know, that is a very busy day and waking up at 5.30 every morning, it can be quite exhausting. And even on Sundays, we wake up at 5.30 in the morning. So. That is the usual day here at Guide Dog School. That is just about the way every day works. Now, sometimes we will not go to White Plains, which is the place that we go to train. We'll go to some other places. We went and practiced getting on buses, public transportation. We went to a mall one day. One day we had to take them, or we, the vet is across the street, but we took them to the vet to get their statistics, their birthday, and all of that good stuff. And we also, um, Diesel has these booties. I'm gonna have to show you right here. Come on, let's put your shoes on. Let's put your shoes on. <laughs> Look at these things. Coop, me. Why well, I called you Coop. Diesel, let me have your paw paw. Come on. Paw paw. Good boy. No. Boogie boogie. Good boy. Let's go. Yo. That is exactly what you see. Zizel has shoes, and the shoes are for if they are, um, you know, if it's extremely cold or if it's extremely hot outside, 
uh, that, that is what that is for, for extreme conditions such as super hot pavement, super hot concrete. They have these shoes and it is the cutest thing. All I hear is him flopping down the hallway and you know running in these little, these little booties and I can just imagine what he looks like wearing these things. It's probably the cutest thing in the whole entire world. Uh, so we have learned how to do that. And uh, we've also learned how to give them, you know, clean their ears and brush their teeth and all of this stuff while we have been here. So it's very, it's very, very busy every single day. And even on Sundays, I still have to wake up at 5.30, 5.45 in the morning to do the usual things. And I do have, have a little opportunity to get a nap in. And also in the afternoon, I have an opportunity to go to a gym and work out. But that is it. That is pretty much all that we have done so far. You know, every day we're working with the dogs and um, you know working on things that we need to do walking through revolving doors it is a ton and ton it's a ton of things that we have to go through a lot a lot a lot of information for myself that I have to learn and that is why every day that you know it is it's very hard for me to record a lot of the stuff because I am you know I'm very focused and I am busy trying to learn the stuff myself so that is pretty much how guide dog school has been for the first two weeks and the last week is going to be somewhat similar i know this wednesday we are probably going to go to manhattan so basically downtown new york and that will be very interesting as well but um yeah that is basically a brief synopsis and the the daily activities of guide dog school what every you know what we have to do every day with the dogs what we are doing to learn and you know what we have to do to get information and learn ourselves and train with the dogs so I hope that makes sense if you do if you guys do have any questions about guide dog school about me and diesel if you have any questions make sure to just comment down below and I'll answer those questions to the best of my ability but I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope this kind of fills you in on what I've been doing here uh, the past two weeks at guide dog school if you guys have been wondering so I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, like the video, and also if it's your first time stopping in on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And as always guys, thank y'all so much for watching and keep getting stronger.